Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, that's what I'm building. And I've already got a little progress on it. I didn't start the video necessarily. You guys all know what parts look like. I, I really find it unnecessary for me to open it up and show you all the parts. So I went ahead and did some pre-assembly, but this thing is, uh, it's been on my shelf for a little while. I've had it for probably six months, maybe, maybe, maybe mm, six or eight months, whatever. Um, so I won't, you know, I used to like to watch that Foose show. What was it called? Uh, make, uh, not makeover, overhauling and, uh, Chip Foose, man, he's talent. But anyway, I'm not so much on like hot rod. Uh, I like original stuff, but this is a cool looking truck. Um, and I watched a few other guys build it and man, it's a clean looking truck when it's done right. A lot of the emblems and things like that are not on it. So it's already shaved, but I've already gone through, um, built the check. And, and by the way, this emblem right here means quality. Uh, most of the time I know to me, uh, doesn't build like American muscle. So Ravel, wow, man, they're so good as far as the quality, as far as the ease of building, uh, the detail. Just for instance, that that nine inch rear end, I mean, it just, just things go together so well. Now I've just painted this um, primer black. I'm gonna go back and gloss it up and then, and then uh, like my brake rotors. Um, and my calipers will be, I'll pick those out and all, everything I'll, I'll pick out what needs to be, you know, a different color. But I find it easier personally to not one piece at the time, build it, paint it. I like to build portions of it, paint that a base color and then come in and touch, you know, um, everything else. So I've got my door panels in uh, primer red. I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with a silver truck i'm not going to do the black like this i, I kind of wanted to do a silver truck i think this would look good in silver um i've seen a guy do it in white which was really cool got my seat in primer red the reason i did it primer red i want to go for like a brown or something like that for the interior and i think maybe that primer red will help being a base it may not i don't know but i've just got a few parts the engine is not complete uh, i've got to go and I do have the oil pan, it's painted gold. So I've got it painted. So this just, just in the, the beginning, this kit, to be honest with you, doesn't doesn't have that many parts, but in, in the part, but the parts that it does have, wow. They go together so, so well. Um, one question, if you guys are uh, could help me out. So I'm gonna put plug wires, and I really like putting, well, I want to put boots, I have a hard time finding any wire that's got a jacket. Okay, so I watch, I like to watch um, Lucas C. And most of you guys probably know what I'm talking about. I forget what his channel's called. Uh, Model Hobby Headquarters or something like that. Anyway, he has, he, he said he found a little piece, this wire that he could take the uh, wire out. I'm sorry, the, use the insulation for the boots, but he takes the wire out. And then he, this is heat shrink. So, I don't mean to, wow, big hand. So it's heat shrink that I shrank, I already shrank it down and it does get down to a really good size, but unfortunately it's just not, it's very thin walled and I'm, I can make it, I'm going to make it work on this one. But if you guys know any um, place that I could get some wire, maybe what you guys would use for boots, for the spark plug wire boots, that would be great help. But anyway, all right, so just wanted to show the progress, show what it is. And uh, let me get some paint on this thing. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I got my base on. This uh, Krylon Color Paint Primer Indoor Outdoor Prevents Rust Dries in 10 minutes or less. It's very flat. So it's definitely got to have, I, yeah, I expected that. I already shot some on a piece of a, piece of the tree to see what the finish looked like it's a pretty well a flat color um, it's got plenty of metallic so I'm going to clear it once this dries and that will really bring out the um, bring the metallic it probably 
deepen the you know the color a little bit so make it a little darker didn't want a bright this is a bit bright for for a uh, for silver but not too bad I think it had darkened up so with the clear uh, oh I forgot my hinges to be painted but anyway yeah so got that so I'll clear it I actually videoed me painting it but I videoed me painting it if you get what I'm saying, because I was right in the way of the camera. So it was all my, my shoulder. So I couldn't see that, but you know, you've painted a car before. Hey, what we want to see is results on this channel. We want to see results. We want to see shiny paint jobs and good detail and good kits built. Who cares about the paint? No, I'm just joking. I tried, but I failed. Anyway, I'm not going to fail. This is going to be a good kit. It's going to turn out great. And uh, let me get some clear on it. Probably be tomorrow before I clear it, but it's going to be in this video. So with the magic of video, we'll see just in a few minutes. It'll be primed or it'll be cleared. Real quick, I wanted to demonstrate something on... The, how to uh, blackwash your rims and such. So, you know, they come, this is the rim. It comes, looks like any model, just real shiny bright chrome. But you want to have an element of depth or shadowing to your model. So this one I've got, I just added the blackwash. And it shadows the rim, so you get shadowing. So it gives it, you know, it gives it depth. So I was going to but do one so i shake my black wash up really good i don't know if you're supposed to or not but i do because i feel like that stuff probably settles but anyway so i just take a lot you know it's, it's on the brush and just start get as much on that brush like a big drop here drop it if you can and just start putting it on try to get this where you can see just paint that stuff on it just runs you know basically it runs off but it's just really thin black paint is what it is. All in the center. I'm getting a little low. There we go. Get a bunch. So don't worry about too much. Because we're going to take our Q-tip. And then... But any groove that you see, get it in there. It's going to dry. When this stuff dries, it's not nearly as visible as it is when it's wet, obviously. So just get that stuff all around in there. Okay. So now you've pretty much ruined it if you leave it like that. But take your Q-tip. Don't soak it all up because if you get in there and soak it all up and the more you rub, the cleaner it will get. But I just stick it in there and this, this stuff just runs to the Q-tip. So just get in there. Just so it's not puddled. And just look. Look at that. Now I want you to... It's hard to tell. Really, it is hard to tell on here. But you've got a rim here or wheel, whatever you want to call it, that's shadowed, and you've got one that's not shadowed. Look at the difference. Shadows, no shadows. And it just dries. It will dry a little lighter, so you're not going to have the, the blobs. You want to get as much as you can. You don't want it to leave it like that. But if the more you rub, the more it kind of cleans it back, so you won't have it. So be be careful when you're cleaning it not to to take all of it off. Um, if there's an area where you want it to shine, let's say that little center cap right there, just hit it with your hit it with your Q-tip. Make you know you can touch up and make areas that you want to shine shine. It's going to come off it's, it, until it's dry. So you just go in there and. Detail it up, you know, these, let's make these shiny, these little, whatever these portions of the rim here. So we'll go in there and we'll wipe that off. So it's all about those little details. I'm not an expert, but I, I understand the concept. When you look at two 
different ones and again I, this camera may, may not be doing justice but you've got one that's got some shadowing and one that's just bright crazy bright chrome doesn't really look off or, or um, real doesn't look you know like it's a real car it looks more like a toy so just go in there like that you can clean off those spokes and make it look good anywhere you want it to be bright rub it off but the element of shadows well makes a world of difference in person especially i don't know if you can tell in there but in person it looks great yeah anyway, all right all right guys so here's an update so getting this thing uh trying to get it detailed you know a little bit got the engine put together um about to run my plug wires which i've glued the uh, little pieces of um uh, heat uh heat shrink onto it and i think it's going to work fine anyway it's not real flexible but it it's uh it's going to be fine and then i'm going to glue them on the pins of the distributor so i've got my uh got my engine together it's looking pretty decent got the interior bucket all uh got it together not doesn't have the dash in it or anything like that but anyway um so since last clip of this video which has been a good week um so i painted that body silver um and i used that um use this uh metallic silver well i sprayed the clear on it and i was using this uh using the gloss coat here spraying it through the airbrush for some reason that that metal paint is kind of a flat it's not shiny at all but the um that gloss coat uh, did not agree with the uh with the silver so it just like ran off and so typical fashion for me at least i had to go and soak it into brake fluids purple power couldn't couldn't get it all off i don't know i have the worst i have the worst luck with um painting bodies i i, I do okay with the other stuff but darn if i can't mess up a body so what i had to do oh anyway so back to i soaked it couldn't get it off so i'm like you know i wonder what mineral spirits would do so i poured some mineral spirits and i'm sure some of you guys are going like no but anyway i did so i poured some mineral spirits into a, a small bucket and I soaked it in there and the paint actually began to come off. And I'm like, well, good. I'll let it soak a little longer. So I let it soak overnight and it came back and it was melted. Not completely melted, but it was turned upside down and the body's outside, but I'm not going to get it. But anyway, like the, 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 the roof pillars had already started to collapse and bend. So I'm like, well, it looked like it had been rolled over is what it looked like. So I said, well, that's just perfect. You know, I've ruined the body, so I had to go back and um, I had to get another. I went back to Hobby Lobby and got another kit just so I could get the body. So now I repainted it with, oh, so I shot some, um, sorry, I don't mean for you to get all dizzy with my camera work. So I bought the, uh, it's enamel, but the, what color is this? Silver, chrome. Okay, I've used that paint before. It's pretty good. But anyway, I decided I would shoot it um, with with that and for the base. And I got the base on it, which is pretty bright. So I mean, it's still gonna it's still gonna look good with the chrome wheels. But I got that. Here's the original bed. Um, it did okay. It didn't. The paint didn't necessarily just run off like the body did. But anyway, I got that, and then I cleared it. And it actually got a pretty good finish on it. Um, the clear has a few like white spots in it. I don't know why. In a, in a place or two, kind of looks kind of like I did a bowling ball effect. You remember how those guys would do bowling ball paint jobs on their cars? But well, there's a spot or two. But I'm not going to point it out. Maybe you won't see it. But anyway, so I got another body. Got her painted. It's looking good. I let it sit in the sun all day today so that clear will get hard. It's so humid here in South Georgia. So I'm in southeast Georgia near Brunswick. 
uh, near the coast well it's really humid and stuff tends not to dry so fast um, and so I have to let it sit a few extra days before you can buff on or anything hey and real quick I made some new display cases I made a few more display cases and got my cars on them anyway it looks looks pretty good but anyway all right so I'm gonna end this so I'm not gonna I'm not going to complete this video or the car in this video. It's just going to be too long. I'm going to go ahead and end it. And on the, uh, I'm going to get the plug wires. I'll probably, on the second video, I'll, I'll have the installation of the plug wires and such as that. But it's turning out really nice, except for the, you know, the, the body issues. And guys, I have the worst luck with, with painting. I don't know what my problem is. I can spray it with my... Um, my airbrush is a cheap, I just ordered one by the way, and it would get here, but this is a cheap Harbor Freight, um, it does okay, but you can't adjust the, the spray at all. Like the only tip I've got, I've got one tip and so it's, it's, it's kind of limits me on, on, uh, my finishes. And, um, one other thing before I finish, my, my daughter Ruthie is working on a, uh, 66 mustang here so she's getting it all detailed out she's doing a good job and she installed the window without me helping her the front windshield with super glue um and it it, it ruined it and uh i have it's a Revell motor city muscle kit um has has anybody tried to get parts from Revell like replacement parts I sent an email, but it's like the Revell that's in the UK. So I didn't get a, uh, a response yet. It's been like a week. Well, not a week, but it has been several days. I haven't got a response. But if you guys know anyone or any contact information on how you can get spare parts for Revell, I was also thinking about getting another body for this because I've got a whole entire kit and I just, you know, the cab is what I ruined. But if you would let me know, guys, I'd appreciate it. But, um, I'm going to end it here. We're going to pick back up. I'm going to get the rest of my parts painted. I'm going to pick back up installation of the spark plug wires um, and final assembly and then, you know, see what it looks like all put together. But guys, thanks a lot for watching. Sorry that, that it's going to be a two-part video. It's just, it would, I think it would just be too long. Um, I want to keep you guys interested so I don't want to bore you. And uh, I have a tendency to bore myself, so I don't want to bore you guys. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things, if you don't mind. And, hey, we'll see you on the next video. You take care.